two pub questions will feature in this video. Where is Isambard Kingdom Brunel buried? Answer here. Kendall Green Cemetery, London. But he wasn't the first to arrive at the family plot. His father, Sir Mark Isambard Brunel, had a hand in designing this cemetery for the nobility in Victorian times. Sir Mark was very famous for producing mechanised goods such as soldiers' boots and block tackle for ships at his factories in Portsmouth and at Battersea he had a sawmill. He also had a factory at Chatham but he was most renowned for constructing the Thames Tunnel with great help from his young son Isambard and the Queen knighted him. Dame Sophia Brunel Brunel's mother was quite a plucky character. She was brave enough to accompany Isambard in the diving bell to inspect the leakage into the tunnel under the River Thames. So she was down on the riverbed in the diving bell. Isambard Kingdom Brunel arrived here rather prematurely aged 53. But he would have stood exactly where this video is being recorded at the funeral of his father who died aged 80 and obviously he's arrived here himself. Then we've got Mary Elizabeth Horsley from Kensington, his wife, from the musical family but she was the one with the least talent in the family but the most beautiful face called the Duchess of Kensington due to her beauty. Brunel enjoyed her company to be seen with her during opening ceremonies of railway lines, stations, and she also accompanied him during his field trips to view his ongoing work such as at the Maidenhead Bridge. We also hear of her when she wrote a letter home describing the doctor who was accompanying her terminally ill father, sorry, her terminally ill husband Isambard to Egypt in the winter of 1858 when Brunel was terminally ill and she described the young doctor as a real toady, a sycophantic nature towards Isambard, and that Henry, the son, was entertaining the group by mimicking the voice of the doctor in the evenings. The Isambard Barrister at Law, born 1837, when he was five years old in 1843, pub quiz question number two. Who was the first person to pass beneath the River Thames? And it was young Isambard at five years old in 1843 when the tunnel met in the middle. He was passed through the aperture to attain this accolade. And what we owe to him is that he wrote a fabulous biography about his father. He had a lot of technical information that he gleaned from making piles of paper plans in different categories such as iron bridges, viaducts, railways. For the biography that many of us consult as a source when we write the book on the great man. Henry was a civil engineer. He had a hand in designing the London Bridge. Now both sons died within a year of each other in 1902 and 1903 and my granny was born in 190, 1900 actually so my granny was alive when Brunel's sons were still alive but there's no mention here of Brunel's daughter who died very very young. I've been at this grave in 1975 when I was just about 19 verging on to 20 then I was here about four years ago and they've cleaned up the grave now so I'm delighted to add this video to the YouTube channel of this fabulous man who was voted number two in our history of most respected Britons.